Okay, now I'm going to show you how to apply the materials in NX render, including how to edit the, that material and how to use the appearance management inside the NX render. So, so I'm going to use my latest model. This is my latest of the model, which is uh, the Hyundai Santa FE model. And mostly this model was created by an XR shape and you can see this my uh, uh, this main body was created by subdivision body or uh, subdivision modeling okay and I'm going to activate my studio render view and you can see in this material in parts uh, studio Material studio materials in part navigator. I've applied some predefined material like this area led. You can we can see also the usage, and, it, and this one is for my headlamp and so on. And okay, the first one. Okay, the first thing uh, that I mentioned earlier. I I want to show you how to apply the materials uh, in our model directly in an extender. So, for applying materials, it's really simple. Uh, we just need to drag and drop some materials to our body, seat body, solid body, feature, and etc. So, for example, I'm going to apply some materials to my model. So, here, all the materials available in the NX render and for example I'm going to use this paint material and I'm going to use the some um, blue metallic material to our mind body for example for this mind body okay okay just it okay I think uh, I choose the main one. Okay, that's okay. And I'm going to and how to delete or to cancel that. We just need to delete this in our studio and part, um, uh, studio material in part. And I'm going to choose the uh, metallic one. So this one is made blue, and this one is metallic blue. Okay. okay, that is the first one how to apply our material directly in our body. Okay, and we can also uh, review our rendering mode or uh, ray tracing mode by, by using the rest studio command. And we can see uh, a quick review to a uh, quick review how our model look like in the ray tracing uh, render so here we can see uh, the quick review inside our ray tracing uh, body or ray tracing studio now i'm using the noiser uh, option because i have uh, because if we want to use this uh, option we need to use nvidia uh, gpu with minimum 4 gb of the memory so i can use this material uh, i can use this option it's just for a quick review it's really helpful if we want to create a quick review and uh, that is how to apply material to our uh, model and another thing that I want to show you how to edit our materials inside this material uh, studio material in part uh, navigator and how to do that we just need to uh, right clicking in this material for example I'm going to edit this main body materials and I'm going to change uh, the material so we need to change our color for example by changing our color in this 
in this command yeah so we can use standard uh, color or custom color so for example i'm going to cast and in, i'm going to use this custom color we just need to select for example i'm going to use this color and clicking ok and we can see a, a quick feedback from our retro studio and by using this studio material also we can save our custom material by clicking this button okay 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 that is the first one how to apply our material and how to edit our material and I'm going to change or uh, or I'm going to delete this material and the other thing that I want to show you is how to use this appearance management command or a group of command and how to do that we need to load some scene and you can see there is no associated appearance applied now and we need to create a new scene first so for example I'm going to create a new scene and we need to for example i want to create my first variant which is for example green um, silver variant okay after that i'm going to undock my appearance navigator you can see this is appearance navigator and here is my green silver variant and uh, this uh, this variant has no uh, appearance data yet yeah and how to add um, our reference data collector which is called designator we need to choose or we need to uh, click this this, this designator command and for example i'm going to apply the primary color designator for example and I'm going to include some entities, uh, either uh, it, it can be a solid body, a sheet body, or, or, or anything else. Yeah. So, for example, I'm going to apply or I'm, or I'm going to include all these uh, sheet body and solid body, including the, the side mirror, main body, uh, spoiler, and the handle. To my uh, primary color designator okay and for second designator I'm going to create another one for example my second designator is secondary color so for example my secondary I'm going to include some seat body which is this one uh, this one this one this one all these three all these two on the top and for the other side so that's all uh, this all my secondary color designator so i'm going to click ok and how to apply our material by using this appearance management is really simple we just need to drag and drop for example i'm going to apply my primary color is the uh, carpet metal green and just wait i just need to drag and drop to our designator like this okay you can see it all updated and all the selected uh, entities in this uh, designator has been changed to the uh, uh, metal green color okay and for the secondary color i'm going to apply the matte one which is uh, metallic matte uh, metallic matte silver for my secondary color okay you can see it's all updated and uh, by using this appearance management i'm going to create another scene uh, how to and how to do that uh, it's real simple i just need to right clicking in this uh, sim and choose duplicate so for, uh, for the second sim i'm going to create for example a full black variant 
I'm going to click OK. And all this, uh, all this design editor is uh, copied or duplicated automatically. And I just need to change my, for example, my primary color to carpet metallic black. And for my uh, secondary color, I'm going to apply the matte black one. Okay, still metallic, but the matte one. Okay, and for the third one, I'm going to duplicate again. So, for example, the third one, I'm going to uh, create the orange white, orange white variant. I'm going to click OK. And for this variant, I'm going to apply this uh, metallic paint orange for my primary color and the uh, metallic made white for, for my secondary color. Okay, we can close our FN scene navigator now. We can save our scene now. And how to change our appearance is very simple. We just need to change by changing our sim in this command. Yeah. For example, I'm going to change to my green silver variant or my full black variant. We can also uh, change uh, our sim on the fly within uh, the Restress Studio active. Yeah window active so for example i'm going to op open my ray trace studio and you can see this is my full black uh, variant and we can directly change to our green silver one and we can uh, get uh, real feedback from our ray trace studio just uh, just by using a really simple manner, yeah, by using this appearance management. So that is the uh, benefit. So we can manage more flexible uh, our appearance data by using this appearance management. Okay. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.